What's up YouTube, Regitech here, and today we are going to be reviewing and unboxing this smartwatch from Smart Life. So I found this watch on Amazon a couple days ago and I paid about $37 for it. And I said why not let me take a chance and see how this smartwatch works. This smartwatch boasts a couple great features and they are that it has a heart rate monitor, it's a, it has a sleep monitor, it is IP67 waterproof, it gives you those smart notifications from your phone if you pair it to it. It has that connect to GPS function. It has seven sport modes. You can set up to three alarms on this. So if you ever need to wake up on time and your phone just doesn't do it for you, this smartwatch will alarm and wake you up as well. You can control your camera from your phone remotely with it as well. If you have your camera up on a tripod and you don't wanna be the one taking the picture and you wanna be the one in the picture, you can definitely use the smartwatch to do that. It also has a custom dial that is set up on the watch as well. You can also control your music directly from the watch without even having to use your phone. And it has six brightness adjustment levels. So you guys, without further ado, with all the different things that this smartwatch boasts, let's open it up, unbox it, take a look how it looks, and we will take a look at all the features. So seeing that there's not much going on around this box, we can dive right in. The only thing that you see on the bottom here is the product's barcode with a little description of it. So to open it up, all you have to do is hold it up against the table and it will slide out with gravity just like that. And the first thing you see is that watch face. And boy oh boy, that's a really, really nice sized watch face for this watch. It is circular, but as I look at it, I can see that it is just a square uh, display in there. And it has a little uh, module up here as well. I don't know if I can get that all up on camera. I think I probably can. Right there, there we go. So you can see that it has that little LCD panel in there or LED panel. And then it has that little uh, module up there that's probably either the sensor or it's one of those kind of ambient light notification kind of things. So when we go and pull this watch out, we can see the full watch itself. So here's the watch, and I did get the version with that gray silicone band. Uh, the silicone bands work a lot better for me as they are much more comfortable, and you don't always have to worry about them being uh, harsh on sensitive skin. And if you're using this watch to walk around with or work out with, the silicone bands are much better because they're easier to take care of. All you have to do is wash them and they're all set to go. Coming around to the back of the smartwatch is where you can see that heart rate monitor right there. And then you can see the two little conductive charging uh, spots right there as well. It also comes with a built, it comes with its own charger. And on the side you can see that little button right there and that's the button that you will use to control the watch aside from that smart touch screen. Going further down into the box we do see that charger here and the charger is basically a clip design so whenever you have the watch all you have to do is line it up with the charger like that and it will automatically clip in place and with this type of charger you don't even have to worry about your smartwatch you know sliding off of the inductive charging or the magnetic charge not or the magnetic uh, field not holding it down into place to charge so I kind of like this design that they did put with this watch and it just plugs right into a standard USB charging dock or a charging port and then you could charge it up just like that and finally, the last thing in this box that you get is the user manual. So this user manual will show you everything you need to know about this watch. It'll show you all the functions, what everything does, the different watch faces that you can use, all the different applications that you can use with it. It also gives you a QR code to download the app to, that goes along with this smartwatch and a bunch of other instructions on how to use all the different functions. And on one side is English, and on the other side is, I believe, Chinese. So we can put all this aside, and we'll go ahead and get this smartwatch turned on and take a look at all the features that we get right out of the box. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. I did have to go and charge this uh, smartwatch up completely. For some reason, mine came with the battery fully depleted, and that's actually something I don't entirely mind. 
I usually like to charge up any ba any uh, device with a lithium ion battery to full capacity before even using it for the first time. So I really do like the fact that they did kind of force me to do that. And uh, while having to charge this device, I did see some cool features. So once this uh, charging clip is clipped onto the device and it's plugged in, you will see an elapsed timer come up at the top of the watch. And that elapsed timer will show you how long the watch has been charging. And that's a really cool thing because it helps me out with gauging how long it takes this watch to charge. So from a completely uh, depleted battery, it did take uh, 45 minutes for this watch to completely charge up. 45 minutes is a really good time frame for this watch to charge up and I'd really like to see how long this charge lasts with that 45 minute charge. It also does show you a battery gauge with the battery going from red to yellow to green uh, as the you know kind of animation of the device charging. One thing that I did find with this device when I did take it off charge is that it's not actually a touch screen device. The only part of this watch that is touch is that little circular cutout down there at the bottom which we thought was at the top before. I thought it was some kind of sensor or some kind of light but the ambient light is actually located up here at the top of the device and that will be red while the device is charging and turn green once it's completed charge. So this part down here is the home button for the device and it's the only touch thing on the screen itself. And to get to all the different features and applications that this watch has, you have to tap on it. And once you tap on it, you can cycle through all the different ones. The only downside to this is if you accidentally go too far with tapping, you can't swipe back. There's really no way to go back to the previous screen. And you'll have to go through the entire uh, applications screen here just to get back to that single application that you wanted from the first time. Now one thing that it does have here is if you want to access a specific application all you have to do is long press this button right here and it will open that application up completely. And aside from the features that it has within the screen itself it also has that button on the side and that button will either turn off the screen or turn it back on. That button is used for that specific function and once you click the button in any moment, you know, anytime you click it to turn the screen on or to turn the screen off, it will send that vibration through the device itself. And I'm thinking that that vibration is also what's used for that alarm function that it has, which is pretty cool. Um, aside from that, I'll go ahead and use this watch for about a week, week and a half, and I will get back to you guys with all of the... Uh, likes and dislikes with all the functions that I figure out. Hey guys, so I am back and I've been using this smartwatch for about a week and a couple of days and I've got to say I'm blown away by not only the watch's convenience but that it's super easy to use and it pretty much has everything that I was looking for in a smartwatch. And for the price point of this watch, it did its job and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So, uh, one thing that I do want to correct that I said before in, during that unboxing video was that this watch tells you the elapsed time while it's charging. Uh, that wasn't actually true. I believe that it was telling the elapsed time because the watch was charging. Uh, what it actually said was the time that I thought it was. So when I got this watch and I unboxed it, it didn't know what time zone I was in. It didn't know what the correct time was or anything like that. So once I did figure out that it had the wrong time on it, I downloaded the DaFit app. That's the app that goes along with this smartwatch. And once I downloaded it, it actually synced over the correct time data and everything like that. And while we're on the topic of the app, it is a super easy and uh, simple design app that makes using it really, really easy and likable. So I'll show you guys the DaFit app right now. And when I downloaded it, all I had to do to set it up was put in the year I was born, uh, my height, my weight, and a couple other things that it asked for. But it didn't even ask me for an email address or anything like that. And on the app, you can check things like your steps, your sleep, the, your heart rate monitor, uh, because it does have that heart rate monitor on the watch. It can tell you your blood pressure, and it can also tell you your uh, blood oxygen level. And uh, those things are really, really cool and convenient that it has. And when I downloaded the app for this watch, I did find out that I could actually set the heart rate monitor and the blood 
oxygen level monitor to run continuously without stopping so that it would constantly monitor my uh, heart rate and my blood oxygen level. And to do that, all I had to do was go into the watch's settings. Um, and you can just mess around with these settings. There's a lot of things that you can go through here. You can set up which notifications you want to see from your phone. You can also set up the alarms and you can set the shutter times for the camera when you're controlling your camera from the watch. So one more cool thing that I did see is that the watch faces, although you have three options here for the different styles, you can also click that edit button. And once you do, you can change up the colors that you see as the times. You can change the positioning of the uh, items that pop up on the screen. And you can also change the picture. So you can set your own picture there of you, of you and your loved ones, of anything you really like. And you can see that picture come up on the watch face anytime you uh, look at your watch. And I think that's a pretty cool feature. And from the app, you can also uh, do the updates for the watch itself. You can do those firmware updates from here. And when you click on others is where you can change up the different uh, settings here. So you can change the uh, time formats. You can change the unit system from metrics to the British system. You can also uh, set up the do not disturb. You can do the reminders. You can do, uh, as I said before, you could set that heart rate monitor to measure at all times throughout the day. And I did have that checked off. You can change the language. You can uh, do the quick view stuff. You can ch uh, check off the weather so that it can tell you the weather on the watch as well. And you can set up what temperature system you want it to use, the Celsius or the Fahrenheit. And I did not notice that it was in Celsius before. But then you can also set up the city so that it grabs that correct information. Going back to the watch itself, it was super comfortable to wear this watch. I did wear it continuously, uh, minus when I went to take a shower. But I did wear this watch while washing my hands, while doing the dishes, and it has not had any water damage or none that I can see. It's continuously worked and hasn't stopped working until I did let it die because I did want to see how long the battery lasted. And that battery did last eight days in total, uh, give or take a couple hours but it did last quite a long time even though that heart rate monitor and blood oxygen sensor was running continuously. So one cool thing that I did find out about the watch that I was kind of disappointed because I didn't see at first is the battery levels. So to find the battery levels, and I actually found this out by accident, what you have to do is press and hold that little home button right here, the home sensor, and you'll feel the watch vibrate. And once the watch vibrates, you'll see the version that the watch is on, the MAC address, you'll see the serial number for the watch, and you'll also see the that it's connected to Bluetooth and the battery percentage level right there in the form of that little battery. And to turn off the watch, all you have to do is press and hold this and it'll say power off. You could also do that through the settings of the watch if you go all the way through the screen cycle here and go into settings. You can also restart the watch from there as well. So uh, at first I thought that this was going to be a little pesky having to click through the different screens and if I click the wrong thing I would have to just cycle through it. All you have to do is really just go back to that home screen on the watch and just start over. It is still a little tedious if you're in the center of the screen looking at a specific uh, setting here and then having to go back into the you know, into the home screen and then go through the settings again, cycling through it. But it wasn't that bad. And for the price point of this watch, I actually really do like it a lot. It's stylish and it hasn't acquired too much damage. I have been using this every single day and I don't really see any scratches on the metal itself. Uh, I do see a few scratches on the glass. I don't know if I can pick that up. They're like little microscopic scratches that you'd see from pocket dust or anything like that. And that's the only sign of wear that I see on this watch from using it. So you guys, all in all, if you're looking for a smartwatch to work out with, something that's not too expensive, something that you can thrash around with that you don't really have to worry about getting damaged, I would definitely suggest this smartwatch. And if you're just looking for a smartwatch in general for an affordable price, this is definitely the way to go. I really do like this smartwatch. I like the features that it has. I like the convenience of it. And most of all, I like how easy it is to use on the watch and in the app. 
And that's what really makes this smartwatch pop to me. And I really do uh, advise you guys if you're looking for a smartwatch, something either cheap or something that you can wear on the daily, I would definitely suggest checking this watch out. So if you guys have any questions about this smartwatch, go ahead and drop them down in that comment section below and I will be quick to answer them. If you guys want to check out this smartwatch, I will be leaving a link to it down in the description box below, so check that out. And uh, aside from that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys like what you see here today and you want to see more content just like it, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below if you enjoyed this video. Once again, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.